um, some great shows on. Or there's always great shows on. I mean, I went away on holiday recently and, and missed things, so I've been kicking myself. But uh, yeah, the uh, Saturday saw the opening of Lover of the Light at the Hodgson Noon Gallery. Um, Claire McMahon, gorgeous abstract works. Howard Shimon, oh, his colour, the, the colours he puts together, you'd think wouldn't work, but they do. And, you know, they're astonishing. Um, very exciting artist in the, you know, in, in his bravery, I would say. Um, and Mark Smythe, who, um, there's a particular piece that really caught my eye. He brought together 38 different types of um, species of trees, turned them all into bowls and presented them as one artwork, which I thought was lovely. It was just such a lovely thing to do. That's a gorgeous show, as always, beautifully created by Julia Ashby Smythe. Uh, Bruno Kavalek, we're always a great fan of Bruno on this show, I know. He's just opened a new show called Dare the Moon. Um, his work last year was fabulous. And, uh, you know, you think, how, how can you top that? But he does seem to have brought something even more this time. I mean, last time we had lots of open landscape type pictures and there was an element of um, um, graphic work in there. It's all paintings this time. Um, trees, figures, moons, it's gorgeous definitely go and see that one okay. um that's at the isle gallery thank you christy um chrissy moss um is at the erin arts center at the moment she's otherwise known as manx pets in pencil um and she does her show is called characters things and places um gorgeous seals hairs all kinds of things she did a show at noah about 18 months ago i think um if you caught that you'll know what i'm talking about a oh, wonderful another great artist um, this weekend on Sunday, um, there's Art in the Garden in Serby, which is on from 12 p.m. till 5 p.m. And this is to raise funds for the John Nicholson Foundation, which is a rotary charity, a, bleh, a rotary charity, which helps local artists. And there'll be a variety of artists and artworks around the cottage garden. So hopefully the weather will be nice for them and they'll get lots of visitors and make some money, which is the plan. Um, on at um, the Sale Gallery, we've still got Je suis Bouchies. I probably didn't say that very well. but no. To be honest, I bet Hiding could pronounce that. I'm though. sure he yeah. could, yeah. actually. <laughs> um, didn't do a very good job of that, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, great show again. Lots of um, uh, memorabilia and artwork from over the years because, of course, Bushy's been around for, for a long time. Um, I particularly liked a picture by Amy Cooper called The Last Suppage, which is all the foxes sort of arranged in the same way as, uh, you know, the, that famous painting, the, the Last Supper. It was just a joy. It just made me giggle. I used it as the cover of this week's news post. Um, we've also got Inner Space at Studio 42, which is in Port St Mary. That's by Dr Julianne Denton. That's on for the season. At the House of Mananen, um, have I got news for Yessa? I would attempt to say that in Manx accent, but I'm really not very good at it, so I won't bother. Um, and then on the 21st of June, which is tomorrow evening, isn't it? Are we on the 20th? The yes. 21st of June, tomorrow evening, at the George Hotel in Castletown from 7pm till 10pm, there's an Isle of Wine and Art exhibition. Now, I haven't got very much information about this. But you just and, heard the word wine. I, I heard wine mm -hmm. and I heard art and I thought, oh yeah, that, that's me all over. So, <laughs> so that sounds like uh, something interesting to go and have a little look at. Um, the Sofa Film Club, which is a society of architects, um, has got Of Time and the City at the Bath and Bottle on the 21st of June. Um, that's an, an evening before. I haven't written the time down for that, I'm sorry, but it'll probably be an early evening performance and uh, it'll be on the website. Have a quick look at that. And then the Isle of Man Drawing Club, I mean, they're amazing. They've been going for a whole year and they've just gone from strength to strength. Kim G um, has now expanded her offering from just doing um, a once a month at Noah Bakehouse to also doing a mid-month one at the Alpine. And they do life drawing. And I've been to one, I was rubbish. Um, but it's open to beginners and anybody who wants to have a go. It's great fun. Um, but you have to get your tickets quickly because they sell out really fast and there's limited places available.